James chapter 3 verse 1. My brethren, let not many of you become teachers, knowing that we shall receive a stricter judgment. So on judgment day, not the judgment will not be the same for everyone. You have to be careful if you have got a calling that you don't exceed your calling. If you have got a calling that you do what is within your calling, at the right time, God will just use circumstances and situations to upgrade you. The positions and the things of God, they don't need carnal reinforcement. Listen. My brethren, let not many of you become teachers, knowing that we shall receive a stricter judgment. So if you see me in heaven, and I believe you are going to see me, <laughs> if you believe you are going to see me, just wave your hand. I know you are beginning to ask yourself, will I see the pastor in heaven? <laughs> <laughs> On that one, I won't subcontract it to anyone. I will have to believe that I'll be in heaven. <laughs> if you see me in heaven, it means I've survived a stricter judgment. Look at the people that I'm teaching on your job. Facebook and other platforms. So if you decide to pay Bible teach or a preacher, the judgment will be strict. I will be joining our class. If you want to see how strict the judgment will be, read Matthew chapter 7, from verse 21 to 23. Those people who will be speaking, saying, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your... Those are church leaders who are teaching. And Jesus will not tolerate any form of lawlessness when he returns, when his leaders. <laughs> I know that's what you are saying in your hands. Stuff. <laughs> the Bible does not normally discourage people. But on this one, James said to say, hey, oh, come on. This issue of being teachers, let not many of you rush to be teachers. Let me read it in the in another translation. I know someone might be saying, Oh, fun fun this away. Good when I love it, so fun good away. <laughs> because someone might be reasoning canal that so if it will be strict so why are you teaching yourself <laughs> with me I tried to run away I had no choice it's there on YouTube there is a documentary a two part documentary I, because I knew this scripture I was taught this scripture in the 1990s that it's, it's not safe to be a teacher the judgment will be strict. I was taught when I was still a Jehovah's Witness that being a teacher is a very serious thing. And when I was a Jehovah's Witness, I saw many leaders being, being excommunicated, not, not just being censured to say sit down, being excommunicated. An announcement being made in a church service that brother so and so is no longer one of the Jehovah's Witnesses. When they are saying brother to someone who is standing in front of us, just like I'm standing on the podium here, and teaching, someone who was a leader being excommunicated, that's how they operate. They are very serious with this script, that signed. In Pentecostal circles, sometimes we take this grace thing too far. And there is a lot of indiscipline. I'm not saying we should be as strict as they are, it's up to each and every church to decide. But that side, I remember people were afraid. 
be even given a chance to teach that ah, if people who have been teachers of the word for decades or for a decade can be excommunicated then what more for me who joined a month ago or two years ago you will be afraid they will have to track you in order to teach them because they took this scripture seriously that if you are teaching and then you are doing wrong things you fall into the bracket of Matthew 7 verse 21 to 23 the men who say to Jesus, Lord, Lord, who will not enter the kingdom of God because they are not doing the will of the Father. I don't know for whom I'm saying these things and why I'm saying them, but I feel compelled to say them. <laughs> like I've got no choice. In the contemporary English version, it says, my friends, say my friends. So James was talking to his friends was discouraging his friends. Say, my friends, we should not all try to become teachers. In fact, teachers will be judged more strictly than others. We should not all strive to become what? Teachers. And then the reason is given in the verse that teachers will be judged more strictly than others. Here I'm just summarizing the point on what? On discipline. If you believe you are an apostle, I've seen many people who call themselves apostles. I don't have any problem with anyone who calls themselves an apostle. Are you disciplined like the apostles in the Bible? Are you disciplined like Christ? We had to deny his glory in heaven. We had to forsake his glory in heaven. To come and spend 33 and a half years here on earth, people insulting him, calling him names, living legions of angels that were worshipping him daily. To come and do the will of the Father. Do you have that kind of discipline? Do you have that kind of self-denial? That Jesus Christ... Because if you are called an apostle, you are sharing that same title with Jesus Christ. If you are called a teacher, you are sharing that title with Jesus Christ. He was also called a teacher. He was called rabbi. Say Jesus Christ was called rabbi. That word rabbi, it's a Hebrew word for a teacher. It means a teacher. So if you're a Bible teacher, you are, you are saying there is something Jesus like in the work that I'm doing. So that's why now this, the standard of judgment will be on the stricter side. It, it can't be the same scale of judgment which will be used on people from Sodom and Gomorrah or from people which will be used on people who lived during the time of Chaga from Ziligas which is used on a person who was teaching prophetic things and teaching a lot of complicated things from the pipe. So we who are in apostolic ministry we have to have an awareness that we must be very disciplined. It's not easy. The devil will try to hammer us on that area in that area but we must just strive if necessary, to the point of bloodshed, to be disciplined. If you feel you can't understand yourself anymore, look for brothers and sisters that you can account to. That you can tell freely that, hey, I'm going through this. I know it should not be in my life. May you please help me. Usually when you share with someone a temptation or a situation that you are going through, you have conquered that thing. Because the devil operates the most when things are kept in secret. You will be busy telling you, no, you are able to deal with it. What if you tell them and they share with someone? Eventually, if you fall, they will share with someone on WhatsApp. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then point number three, as we conclude, 